Okay, this Windows currently is running in UEFI mode. So run MS Info 32 and here we can see BIOS mode UEFI. Okay, and because of that UEFI mode, for example, this program is EBCD. Yes, allow. It is running in limited mode. EBCD has detected that your machine is currently booting in EFI mode. Due to limitations set by Microsoft, many of the EasyBCD's booting features cannot be used in EFI mode and are disabled. Okay, so for example, add new entry and I cannot boot from ISO files. It's disabled. VHD files can be used. Okay, so let's go here. Aomi Partition Assistant Pro Edition. Not standard, but Pro. Here we have the hard drive, it says it's in GPT mode, GPT, right click on it and convert to master boot record. Okay, and apply. Reboot the computer. And we have a blue screen. Now reset the computer, press the reset button. And we have to make another modification, so press the delete button to enter BIOS. Okay, and here in BIOS, let's go here to settings. You can switch between the two modes using the F7 key. F7. This one and this one with F7. Okay, so use this mode, go here to settings, go down to boot, and in this case, we are not booting from a UFI hard drive anymore, hard disk, but instead from a simple hard disk. So here at the first option, enter there and select hard disk, so it's not UFI anymore. Okay, but we have to select which hard disk. So go down, hard disk drive BBS priorities, enter into that one and the first boot option, let's select the hard drive, it's that one in my case. Okay, so that's the hard drive, escape to get out from here. Okay, F10 to save the changes and exit. And now Windows should start and no more error messages should be shown. That's the BIOS and here we have the Windows logo. So the blue screen was eliminated by not booting from a UFI hard drive but instead a classical hard drive, master boot record hard drive. Okay now let's press Windows and R and type in MS Info 32 and press OK. And here we can see BIOS mode now it's on legacy, it's not on UFI anymore. Okay, and now if I start Easy BCD, yes, allow it. Now the limitation warning was not displayed. And here at Add New Entry, ISO, nothing is grayed out. I can browse to an ISO file, as you can see, and then I can add it to the menu. So nothing is grayed out here at ISO. Once again, start it, yes to allow it, and no limitations.